Hello and welcome to the show. The US president was actually on a date with someone else when he met Melania and asked for her details. However, she rebuffed him and said he would give, have to give his number to her. Melania became first lady of the US after Mr. Trump was sensationally elected in 2016 but may never have ended up there if it were not for his bold decision. Melania told Harper's Bazaar during the election campaign he wanted my number but he was with a date so of course I didn't give it to him. I said, I am not giving you my number, you give me yours and I will call you. She added, I wanted to see what kind of number he would give. If it was a business number, what is this? I'm not doing business with you. But Donald gave her all of his numbers, the office, Mar-a-Lago, home in New York, everything, and told her to call. This incident took place at a party in September 1998. Melania was apparently struck by his energy but still chose not to call right away. She headed to the Caribbean for a photo shoot but then phoned her future husband a few days later. At the time, Mr. Trump was in the process of divorcing his second wife, Marla Maples, which was finalized in 1999. Meanwhile, Melania was enjoying a successful modeling career and New York had been moved to the US in 1996. Originally from Slovenia, Melania spent some time modeling in Milan, Italy, before moving to the US East Coast. She was featured on the front of Vogue, Vanity Fair, New York Magazine and others. In 1999, the couple drew attention to themselves after a lewd interview on the Howard Stern show. In 2000, Mr. Trump campaigned for the Reform Party presidential nomination and Melania told the New York Times that if he became president, she would be a very traditional first lady like Betty Ford or Jackie Kennedy. That same year, Melania petitioned for a right to permanent residency under EB1 program which is designed for people with extraordinary abilities. She was one of just five Slovenian nationals to be granted this so-called Einstein visa that year. Donald and Melania tied the knot in 2005 and the next year their son Baron was born. Melania also obtained US citizenship in 2006 and reportedly sponsored her parents Victor and Amaliha Naus to go through the immigration process using main migration, a route that her husband has criticized. The First Lady has always supported Mr. Trump's hardline stance on immigration. In 2015, she told People magazine, I went through a whole long process to become a citizen. It didn't even cross my mind to just stay here. I think people should follow the law. In the same interview, she gave a fascinating insight into her relationship with her husband, children from his previous marriages, Ivanka, Eric, Donald Jr. and Tiffany. She said, I'm their friend, I'm not their mum. I met them when they were teenagers. I went to their high school and college graduation, so we have known each other for a long time. However, in 2016, she said that she never sees his former wives as that was his past life. Thank you.